Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on prolonged capillary refill time. Capillary refill time is the time taken for a distal capillary bed to regain normal color, after sufficient pressure has been applied to cause blanching. Delayed capillary return is usually described as a return to normal color which takes longer than 2 to 3 seconds. A delayed capillary refill time can be due to dehydration, hypovolemia, peripheral vascular disease, and decreased peripheral perfusion, for example in heart failure. The normal components of peripheral perfusion are complex. Normal capillary perfusion is based on the driving pressure, arteriolar tone, capillary patency and density. These in turn, are influenced by a number of factors such as noradrenaline, angiotensin II, vasopressin, endothelin I, and thromboxane A2 all of which cause arteriolar vasoconstriction, and may decrease capillary return. Whereas prostacyclin, nitric oxide, and local metabolites, all may produce vasodilatation and increase capillary return. The interplay between these elements is thought to alter the ability of the blood to refill post-blanching. In cases of dehydration, the body's compensatory system tries to redistribute available fluid from the periphery to the central vasculature, to maintain preload, and ultimately, cardiac output. The sympathetic nervous system is also invoked, resulting in peripheral vasoconstriction via local and neurohormonal mechanisms. This leads to decreased peripheral perfusion of the distal capillary beds, and decreased or delayed capillary return. In decreased peripheral perfusion, such as in heart failure, there is a lack of forward flow or driving pressure to perfuse the distal capillary beds effectively. The body also compensates for poor forward flow by activating the sympathetic nervous system, the renin-angiotensin system, vasopressin and other factors that increase arteriolar tone, cause vasoconstriction, and alter the time for distal capillary beds to refill. Patients with shock can also have prolonged capillary refill time. In, shocked, states, particularly sepsis, it is thought that an imbalance between vasoconstrictor and vasodilator substances, and endothelial dysfunction, occurs with the result that normal regulation of microvascular blood flow is impaired. Other factors including arteriovenous shunting, no flow, capillaries, intermittent flow capillaries, increased capillary permeability and interstitial edema, as well as leukocyte and red blood cell-derived thrombi, may decrease functional capillary density and capillary refill. That's all for this video. Thank you.